Hey guys, this is the Walmart Super here. Another blog video for you guys. Today, we're gonna to be talking a little bit about um, temptations. Temptations are one of the things that I personally struggle with very often. This is gonna be a blog style video, so if you guys see me veering off into something else, <clears throat> it's because I'm doing something in the middle while I'm trying to make this video. Um, I do photography work. So that's actually what I'm going to be doing soon. Um, so temptations. Temptations are a pain. A really, really pain because it can catch you in your most vulnerable moment. And I'm speaking about this because of the fact that we all have certain types of addictions that kill us for a long time. Um... And I've personally been struggling with one of those addictions and temptations is very big um, with what I'm fighting through. Um, so temptations, like I said, the devil will pry on you at your most vulnerable moments. So what do I mean by that? If you're struggling financially, um, this is one way how the devil will get you. He'll wait for that one moment where you do not have a single dollar and he will try to pounce at you with lottery tickets uh, he'll try to pounce at you with scratcher tickets and um, and he'll do it in a very sick way oh uh, friend will come up to you and be like hey how are you doing good oh great awesome struggling financially oh well I'm so sorry have you tried doing this or doing that you know when I've ever needed a quick buck what I would do is I would waste my money on scratch off tickets and I'd make $5 for sure. You should go try it. Or maybe other examples would be um, making money on ways that you're not supposed to be. So like um, drug dealing. So when you're in a pinch of cash, your friend might recommend you, oh, why don't you try selling weed, man? You should sell weed and um, you'll make your money back as quick as possible. And you're not going to get in trouble for it, you know? And I'll give you my personal example. I personally want to be wealthy in the next couple of years. And I want to prepare for that. So I've been working really, really hard. As God says for us, work with all your heart. And as if you're working for the Lord. Um, but sometimes I realize I might come off a little bit short on cash here and there. And you'll get things on my news feed. I'm not capping you with this. My news feed, it will come up with people winning the lottery, people winning the jackpot in the casino, people getting money from strangers, and that can bring you down quite a lot. And it can really not motivate you in doing shit, especially when stuff like that happens and you see it. Because in your head, you see it as, damn, I worked so hard for my money. This is not, and then this dude just got $20,000 just like that. Or, oh, this dude, all he had to do was ask for $20 and you start, <laughs> it, it comes, it goes to extreme, not comparing myself right now um, to this point. But you almost start comparing yourself to homeless people. <laughs> like it gets to that point where you're just so crazy about it that you're like, oh, well, if he can just stand out there and get $20 from people, well, I can, I want to do that too, you know? And it can even get to that crazy point to where you become, where you become selfish. What about me? What about me? What about me? But you don't see their shoes and what they've been through. And that's what temptation is is like you crave something and you'll do anything to get it and it's like you'll even go through the worst type of stuff in your life to get that thing even if it means that it's bad and you don't want that like people will sell themselves for money prostitution people will um give their life up give their souls up it's that crazy like being in the music industry or being in like the movie industry you know those type of things that just give your life away like it's nothing. And even sometimes working too much too can do that. And um, when you 
work too much. Your head is just so focused on working, so focused on working, so focused on working that you're making all this money, but you're not spending time with God. And um, I'm speaking on this of keeping myself accountable too. I've been in those positions where I work crazy amount of hours and then the next you're just so tired that you don't feel like picking up the Bible or praying to God and you're just so focused on what you want but you don't you focus on what God wants for you God knows God knew who you were since the womb and the Bible does say that so anything that you came out of with he knew that ever since you were born which is crazy to me because maybe right now God knows I want to be wealthy. But God also doesn't want me to become obsessed with money. And like, it can lead really, really towards being on the, on the quote unquote grind and losing him. And, or it can lead towards really, really towards the left side, which is probably the most obvious one is leading towards God mostly and spending most of your time with God and God can give you those things. And like, when I think about these things with temptations is that, is that temptation really worth it? Because if you spend your life following through with that temptation, it could lead to death. And sinning is really the same way. It's really one step closer towards death. So that temptation that you're going for without God, he can clearly take that shit away as quickly as he can bring it back. Um, I'd rather God give me something than me looking for it myself. Because I know at the end of the day, if I go and search for that thing, he could just take it away just like that. In a matter of a day, three hours, whole thing will disappear. But if God gave it to you, you know that that thing is going to be eternal. That thing is going to be long lasting. It's going to be a blessing. That's what blessings are. I think personally blessings are stuff that are given to you that you don't deserve and it lasts you a whole lifetime. Or maybe a quite a bit while and I think personally curses are those things that are given to you and then taken away just like that and um, God can do that and it can be very discouraging um, especially if he sees that you're not doing the right thing so these things can be easily as let's use an example of porn addiction if you overvalue sex for what it is um, God can put relationships in your life where it's, I guess, overly sexualized. Where you're almost devoting yourself 100% towards this sexual being rather than treating them as a human being. And you can hurt people. You can hurt relationships. You can hurt friends that you meet. And vice versa. This goes to women too, you know. You might see this guy as crazy hot, crazy sexy, you know, and you just want them for sex. It makes the man and the woman feel like shit. It really does. And you start looking at them as only as a sexual partner and not as a human being. Um, so what I want to come through with all, all of this together, all together, is seek God's kingdom first and everything shall be added on to you. I forgot what verse that was, but that came out of my head so randomly. Wow, it's mind-blowing. Um, seek God's kingdom first and everything shall be added on to you. Um, is super important because if it's not going to last a long time, why have it? Like personally, a portion of 11 GT3 would be nice. Don't get me wrong, it would be very nice. But if it's not going to last me a long time or a lifetime... And it's only going to last me a day. Why would I have it? You know what I'm trying to say? I'd rather have my Toyota Celica for the long run than have a Porsche 911 for a day. You know what I'm trying to say? Because it's more fulfilling when you have something for a lifetime than having this thing in a day. And so it's good to remind yourself that the instant gratification that you might be feeling of falling into temptation is only temporary. It's really there for one day or maybe one week or maybe even one month and it's taken away from you and then you feel extremely bad, extremely horrible and you don't even want to get up in the morning and it sucks. So remember, follow God, 
follow his will for your life because at the end of the day if he gives it to you it will last and that's my thing for today and get away from the devil's temptations too and how do we get away from the devil's temptations we pray and we read the word daily so read a verse daily proverbs ecclesiastes songs of songs and uh deuteronomy and matthew mark luke and john those are the gospels and um keep reading keep reading because the good thing about the bible personally and i read the bible as a non-believer and this is how i got my life corrected with christ i mean i'm not perfect don't get me wrong i'm not perfect but reading these things helped me tremendously in my life i quit smoking i found the correct um, partner in my life and i'm working towards building wealth but i like i said i don't want it if it's not god's will for my life and i feel like i've defeated all these things is because of god and if i didn't go to him with my problems um i think peter said where else should i go um let me look at that John 6, 68. Peter spoke up and said, But Lord, where would we go? No one but you gives us the re revelation of eternal life. That's the um, verse. And it's true. It's like all these temptations that I have going on, it's like you can talk to your friends about it. You can talk to everybody about it. But the only person you can really go to is God because God is the only one that has true answers. And you can get only get those true answers if you pray about it. And he will give you the answers up front. You just have to pray for clarity. That's what I do all the time. And for a clear path. Every single time that I have trouble looking for something, I pray for a clear path. Because um, life isn't always going to show you the right path or a clear path. It's not going to. And it's important to pray for those things. Because the clearer the path, I think the easier my life will be. Sometimes God doesn't even want you to see you want to show you the clear path because he wants you to fight through what you're going through to give you a stronger backbone um so if you're praying for temptations um to be gone from your life there might be some some times where you have to push through those battles yourself and um and be praying god's not always going to hold your hand um, I mean, he'll be there for you. He will be there, but sometimes he just doesn't want to hold your hand. And that's fine. That's just part of life. You have to realize that. Um, that life is not easy. And there's times where I've personally broken down and cried and begged to God to give me an answer. And um, I still do that because at the end of the day, if my burdens are, God, are God's burdens too. Um, and if I just express that and let it out, it would help me in the long run because that shows how genuine I am and that shows how um, dedicated I am. Are we going to make mistakes when we fall into temptation? Yes, we're going to make mistakes. It happens. It's normal. But we have to get ourselves back up and um, look for what's good. I guess that's what I'm trying to say, too. And look for what's good. Um, if you guys struggle with anything, feel free to reach out to friends. Reach out to family. If it's something more private, like porn addiction, um, download an app that blocks those sites. And... Um, if you struggle with temptation with money, get off social media. Get off social media. I'm trying to do that currently right now. I'm trying to get off social media as much as I can. Because, like I said, too much of these pages is influencing you to make a million dollars. Oh, play the lottery. Oh, pay for these tickets and you'll become a millionaire. Or people start commenting and being like, I went from one follower to one million followers in two days. Text me and how I did it. And then I'm like... Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, um, 
realize that the only person that can get you to where you want to be is God and God alone. Um, so follow Jesus Christ and um, remain, remain positive. Affirmations, just so they don't become self, self-included. self So affirmations would be like, God will get me through this. Um, that's how I would, I, I normally, that's my affirmations normally is that God will get me through this. Um, God is only the true way. Um, God brings my life joy. God is love. Um, be still. Um, cast my anxiety to God. Um, I am not stressed. I am not worried. God has my back. Just like that. Don't remind yourself every morning. And when I wake up every morning, thank God for another morning. Thank you, God, for another piece of life. Um, and when I get out of work after a stressful day, thank God for another day of work. Thank God that I was able to work. Because if not, I wouldn't be able to pay my bills. I wouldn't be able to feed my dog. And yeah. So um, if you guys have any questions, drop them below. Uh, this one's going to be called Temptations. This is going to be vlog number either eight or nine. Peace out.